So very likely, once everything working good in your school system, you would have been privy to this knowledge that area of a triangle is equal to half base by height, probably since primary school, standard four, standard three, half base by height, right? B for base, H for height. Now, where does this formula come from? I want you to consider this beautiful rectangle. And the area of this rectangle, we know it's the width by the length or the breadth by the length or whatever you're feeling to call them two sides. Area of the rectangle is L times W. Now, if I drew a line diagonally like this, it will make a nice little purple triangle, <laughs> which splits the rectangle into two. And I, I think you are seeing where this is going already. So the area of the triangle is going to be the length by the width divided by two. So we just modify the names now. So area of a triangle is going to be equal to half. And instead of length, I will put base. And then because this is the one on the underneath here, base. And instead of width, it's, a, it's the same side here. I'm going to put height. So half base by height. Or base by height divided by 2. Area of a triangle. So if I wanted to find the area of this triangle over here, I would have to consider the area of the triangle is equal to half the base by the height. Now you notice this 5 here. A lot of people, there's a rookie mistake, will use this 5 in the formula for maybe something, the base or the height. This 5 is not the base or the height, so that 5 just lime in there to trick you. The height must always be perpendicular to the base. Pro tip. So area of the triangle is half base by height, half of 4 by 3. Your answer is 6. And you know you need to put the units. If you don't put the units, your math teacher will say, 6 what? 6 what? 6 apples? 6 pears? 6 bananas? Okay, you must put the units. Right? Don't get your math teacher vex. Um, sometimes you may encounter a triangle like this. Now, how do we find the area of this triangle? I want you to take a minute and try and do it in your mind. Pause the video. We're coming back in now. So if you found the answer, congratulations. You are master of finding the area of a triangle. <laughs> um, you need to know that this 7 is another decoy here. Because remember, the height must be perpendicular meaning at 90 degrees to the base. So the area of this triangle is actually half of 5 times 6. Let's just see how we write this in a nice statement. See how my equal signs go right under each other to make the thing look pretty and make everybody feel happy. Half base by height, half of 5 by 6. That gives me 15. I can double check my arithmetic there. You never know what can happen in these videos. So here's a little question to leave you with. Find the area of this shape here. Put it in the comments. This is really a question for Form 3 people, eh? But if you're in Form 6 and you're feeling to mash up the question or Form 5 and destroy the question, um, free up yourself too and write the answer in the comments. Sometime I might pass back through the comments and see who has the right answer. So using the knowledge you just learned, find the area of the shape here. That's how maths works. They tell you one thing, they tell you the next thing, and then they test you on a completely different thing, combining the knowledge that you have learned from before. So I hope that falls and falls with you in a nice place in your heart and um, blessings. And next day done, three days in a row. But this was a kind of short video for fun too.